What's going on guys? It's your boy Worm again and today I'm going to be bringing you my impressions of the Titanfall beta. So let's get into this. Alright, so first off, uh, I've played quite a few games. I hit the max rank of like 14 I believe it is. And uh, I gotta say I was thoroughly enjoying it. Um, it's very fast, at least on PC. I mean I've, I've watched some Xbox One videos and uh, it looks a little bit slower than PC for obvious reasons. But uh, so that's that's one thing uh, I do like that. Um, I know a lot of people are comparing it to Call of Duty, and you know it's just really not like Call of Duty. Okay, it's got mechs. You can parkour. I mean, it's what is what? How is it like Call of Duty? I wish somebody would please explain to me that. But um, yeah, so nothing like Call of Duty or anything else for that matter. It's really a unique game. So uh, yeah. Getting into the maps, um, they all, they, well, there's only two, but they both seem pretty good. Um, yeah, I didn't have any problems with them. Uh, the, uh, they only give you like three game modes. I actually never played the last Titan standing game mode, but the other two game modes, they were good. Um, and then actually getting into game modes, um, I know it's probably pretty confusing at first to new players on what the heck is going on. You know, it displays victory and then you're still running around and you have to get to some dropship somewhere to get off the map. Like, it's it's kind of confusing at first, but I think, you know, after you play a few games, you get the idea of what's going on. So, yeah, basically the game modes that they gave you in the beta was a TDM-like game mode, which is called Attrition, and... Um, a domination type game mode and I actually hard point is the name of that hard point so it's uh, you know you got your three points A B C and you gotta hold them and you get points you get points for however long you hold them so yeah it's, it's your standard stuff and then they have li last Titan standing and what that is it's like a um, it's like execution from Gears of War I mean I know a lot of you probably have never played Gears of War but it's it's basically uh, 6v6, just like all the other game modes, 6v6, you only have one life per round, and it's the first team to four rounds. So, it's it's not like Call of Duty and Search and Destroy where you have to plant a bomb. It's just based off of kills, and you had to survive the longest amount of time. So, let's get into weapons here. Um, the infantry weapons, specifically. Um, the first weapon that they give you is the RH-101C, I think it is, and that gun is very good. It's it's very good at long and medium ranges, but I, I have noticed that the hip fire on it is not so good in close quarters, but I know that the, I don't know, the, the, uh, the dynamics are completely different on console and PC. Like, I think a lot more people hip fire on PC than they do console. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is, and... The hip fire on, on that weapon is just not very good at close quarters. And the, the same goes for the shotgun. The shotgun, I think, needs, uh, well, the shotgun that they give you needs needs a bit of a tighter cone whenever you're shooting because, I don't know, it seems like you really need to aim it, actually, which is kind of sad because, you know, if you use a shoddy, you just want to run around and, you know, smoke people, but without having to scope in, so, yeah. And then they have the uh, Longbow DMR Sniper or something like that. And uh, I'm not much of a sniper, so I haven't really used it. I did use it, but I got bored with it. Uh, I have heard people saying that it's like a 2-4 to four shot kill, and that's kind of sad because, I mean, I guess it is a DMR, but I don't know. It's not really much of a sniper without being able to get that one-shot headshot. But So, yeah, that's it for the weapons. The primary weapons, that is. You have secondary weapons, and the smart pistol is very freaking annoying. I don't know if you want to call that a primary or not. It, it might as well be a primary. So basically, if you don't know, the smart pistol is a weapon that you run around, and when you get close enough to enemies, it will lock onto them, and all you have to do is just shoot. Just click the trigger or whatever, and it'll automatically target them. The bullets will go right to them. It's very annoying sometimes, but it's I think it's pretty well balanced for what they want it to do. Um, because you have to be in a pretty close proximity to the enemy to be able to get the lock on. And then even at that, you have to maintain the lock on. So it, it's annoying when you have people that know what they're doing with them and they're running cloak and you know they're just smart pistoling everyone. But a lot of times you won't find people using the smart pistol. I don't think anyways. And then you get another 
um, it's just like your basic standard issue pistol. It's just, you know, single shot, you know, 12 bullets in a mag, whatever. Weak sauce. <laughs> and then you also get a auto pistol, and it's like a, a triple burst, I think it is, or it might be full auto. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't really use the pistols very much, but it's, I think it's a triple burst auto pistol, so that's kind of cool. So let's get into mechs and their weapons and everything about them. So I played the beta for, I don't know, three days straight just using the machine gun. Um, and I noticed that I was getting destroyed by other mechs. So I started using the 40 millimeter cannon. And wow, I started dominating other titans. So if you don't already know, the 40 millimeter cannon is the way to go for taking down other titans. It's not very good for taking out infantry, but at this, it's it's good enough. I can say that it's worth it being able to take down other titans as opposed to being able to take down infantry and not titans. You, I don't know if that makes any sense, but so yeah, use the 40 millimeter cannon on the titans for taking out other titans, and use the machine gun if you want to take out infantry. I guess is the the basis of what I'm saying here. I have not used the um, what's the other? It's the quad rockets, I think it is. I have I did not get to use those, so yeah, I don't know about those. Let me know down in the comments below. Are those good? What are they good for? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So all of this info would not be good if the connections to the servers were terrible, and it is dedicated servers, so that's good. Um, I have had no problems with connections. I have seen a little bit of skipping and stuff, but it's. It's not very common. I've probably seen, I could probably count on one hand how many times I've seen skipping and stuttering and stuff. Nothing like rubber banding or anything like that. So, yeah, the server lag has been very minimal. Uh, yeah, it's been a good beta connection wise. Now, let's get into the things that I don't like so much about the beta. Um, that being said, every everything else that I've mentioned, I've had no problems with. Uh, the only thing is the smart pistol is kind of annoying, um, but it's nothing too serious. But the major thing I have an issue with is the bots, okay? So basically, there's going to be, you have all these bots on your team. They're called grunts and specters and stuff. And I really have a problem with them because it seems like every time I die to a, a regular player is because I'm shooting at a stupid bot. It's the most annoying thing on the face of the planet. Well, not the most annoying thing, but it's... It's the most annoying thing in Titanfall, I think. And I don't know. I think they should take the bots out and just leave it 6v6, all humans. Take out take out the stupid bots because they're just cannon fodder. And it's it's really, I don't know, it's just kind of annoying when you're having to... It seems like you just want to run past the grunts to find a regular player. And then the grunts start shooting you and then you have to take them out. It's kind of annoying because, for one, you don't get near as many points I think you get like 20 points for taking out a bot whereas you get a hundred and fifty or a hundred and something for taking out a regular person so it's almost not even worth wasting your ammo and showing yourself up on the map unless you have a silencer just to get killed by a human running around the corner seeing you shooting at stupid bots it's really annoying and I wish they would take it out so wrapping this up guys um, I just want to say that I have not pre-ordered Titanfall, and after playing the beta, it's kind of convinced me to get Titanfall. It seems like it's going to be a very good game. Um, there's really no other issues I have with it. The gameplay is there for me. I love it. It's very fun. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this impressions video, please give it a like. Let me uh, let me know if you played the Titanfall beta. What'd you think? Leave it down in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.